Hey guys, so I wanted to do a fall fashion trends of 2013. Um, I filmed this guy yesterday and it was super long, I was having a bad day. And I had to edit a lot of stuff out, my editor wouldn't work, wouldn't edit my video um, and deleted it, so I'm redoing it. Um, but I have everything written down here in my book. And I'm just going to do this video quickly just because I don't really need to go in depth like I was in the other video. When I was watching it, I'm like, why am I going in depth with this? Like, this is, I'm going to say it right now, this is your guys' opinions and choices. You do not have to support all of these trends because I definitely don't. Um, so yeah, everything, um, all the information I ha am going to show you, I looked it up on the internet from glamour.com. I will put the link down below because it was a certain article, of course. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the trends for 2013. The first one is eye-catching outerwear. I 100% totally agree with this for me. I love wearing beautiful pieces out in like of outerwear. I just love it because um, for me, and I'm sure there's plenty of other places that are like this, like the Grove in um, California, it doesn't really get that cold, but here it gets very, very cold and very, very snowy. And if you don't have, you might have a beautiful outfit on underneath, but if your outerwear is just blah, like you're just going to look blah. So, because we have outdoor shopping areas and I love going in the Christmas just because, in the Christmas time, in the fall time, just because I love the atmosphere. I love the way it looks. It's so beautiful with all like the pretty white snow. So, if you don't have like beautiful outerwear to go along with your beautiful outfit, you're just going to kind of look like everybody else wearing the same type of jacket. I found one that's a beautiful trench coat. I cannot wait to ask my mom if I can get it. It's beautiful. But I also am wearing Moda jackets for right now in the fall time just because. I love those, um, and just any cute little jacket to wear that's lightweight enough, yet yeah, like still, but will still give me a little bit of warmth as well. Moving on to the next one is hats. Again, like I said, you don't have to wear any of these trends if you don't want to. If you don't like them, you definitely don't have to wear them. I hate hats personally. I don't like hats. They don't look good on me. They make me look weird. Uh, my personal preference, if I tried on a hat for you guys, you would probably be like, you look fine. But I don't like it, so I'm not going to wear it. I don't want to waste my money on something I'm not going to wear to kind of catch my drift. So, um, I don't like hats. But hats are definitely in. If you want to wear them, you can. Um, I just don't like hats on me. My mom puts one on, and she looks, like, amazing in a hat. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll look amazing later on in a hat. Um, but, yeah. Classic prints are definitely in as well. Classic prints are, like, um like minuscule plaid um, and things like that which I love plaid my mom doesn't really care for plaid so I don't have anything plaid because she just doesn't like the way it looks so whatevs but I like brown plaid I like the lumberjack plaid too um, which is basically like the red and black you know what I mean the flannel type of thing for Christmas time more so um, I just love it if you dress it up with like over the knee boots and just make it look super edgy I think it'll look amazing I also found some of those that I really really um, but I really like the classic prints and supporting them. I just don't have any at this time. Leopard print is a huge one. I love leopard print. I like the realistic looking leopard print. I like the retro inspired leopard print. There's in fact a sweater I want to get that's the retro leopard print. It's just beautiful. Love it. Um, and I have like two leopard pieces um, and I have a bunch of leopardish jewelry. Like, I mean, I did a collection video. Sorry, something fell on my thing. And I don't know, there's like leopard print or just something different on some of my jewelry pieces, but I really like leopard guys, so definitely bring out the leopard. Um, emerald green, remember, is the Pantone color of 2013, so definitely find some emerald green pieces to add into your wardrobe if you'd like. For me, I don't like to wear emerald green like as, as a clothing piece. I like to either rock it as my nail polish or um, also as my, or in my like eye makeup to a smoked out emerald eye that's what I prefer doing and wearing it with like something black or just you know coordinating my clothes with it I don't really like to wear it as a clothing piece I don't have a piece like that anyway but I actually just don't like to wear green um emerald green for me um I don't know why <laughs> layering is another big one I don't really layer um makes me really really hot but I guess I do somewhat layer if I have like a holy sweater or a see-through sweater or a see-through piece of anything. I always put a tank top underneath. That's as far as layering as I get, I'm pretty sure. Um, if I have like a, a t-shirt on, I'll put a cardigan over on over it. 
Um, but that's, and then a jacket over top if it's super cold, but I get really hot, so I don't really layer all that much. Um, plus it's just, you have to get, like, your overshirt can, you have to proportion everything right, like your tank top has to be tightish, and then your other top has to be a little bit bulky, and you know what I mean? Um, so, you get, layering is the, a key, like, you have to do it the right way for it to look right. Um, winter white is definitely in. No white after Labor Day. I don't know whoever made that up. It doesn't make any sense to me. I love white. I just love the look of white. It's so clean and so fresh, and it just brightens up your whole outfit. So definitely wear white. Don't be afraid to bust out your white um, at all. And don't put away your peplums either. Just find peplums that are more of the fall colors, of course. I'm wearing a peplum right now. Um, it's just a sweater. Sweater peplums are cool. Um... Like any peplum within the navy or within the navy within the um, fall colors is perfect. Um, I really like peplums; they're so flattering. They make you look so small and skinny and beautiful. So definitely go for a peplum. Military inspired is also another one of my favorite. I have I need to get a couple more pieces for my military inspired stuff, um, like the boots I want to get, and then some type of military top or jacket. I'm not really sure yet. Um, thigh high boots. Oh my gosh, love thigh high boots, and I found a pair that I really want to get, and I'm saving up for these because I don't know what color to get them in. I kind of want to get them in brown, sorry, I have like a thing going on. I kind of want to get them in brown, but I really like them in black, so I don't know what to do. But I love thigh high boots, they're so sexy, wear them with a skirt, and they get like the stockings that go up a little bit higher. You don't have to do like super thigh high, they can just be over the knee, but just, oh, I just love that. Um, and then lingerie inspired pieces. I love anything lingerie inspired. That makes you look super sexy and super flattering. I have a top from H&M. Am I talking really fast? I'm sorry if I am. I'm not sure how long my battery is going to last. Um, but I have this top from H&M. It's super lacy at the top. It shows my bust off really nicely. It makes me just have that hourglass figure that I love. And it just gives me va va boom you know what I mean? Um, and then another big one is leather, which I'm sure you guys have heard. And I love leather. I'm always supporting it. Um, I support it in my moto jacket. I have a peplum jacket that's pleather. It's really pleather, but anything that looks like leather. Um, leather boots, whatever you want to do, guys. Seriously, I love leather. It's just such an edgy look. Um, and I love leather. It's just Oh, amazing. So anyway, guys, that's all of the fashion trends for fall 2013. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If I was talking too fast, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any feedback that you want to give me, guys. Comment what your guys' favorite things to wear are in the fall. Does that make any sense? Comment what you like to wear in the fall. That's what I mean. And definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, and check out the link down below. I'm going to find the link to the Glamour website that I went to so you guys can read up on the article as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.